guys, welcome back. Today we are going to see an in-depth review of the newly released Xiaomi Procophone F1. It's a really good phone at a really low price, so let's get right into it. First of all, let's talk about the design and how it feels on your hand. You will notice a big 6.18 1080p display. Uh, it's a big display, it's not for 100 people. The color, it's color accurate, it's vibrant. Its ring angle is also good. You see the huge notch over the top and it has round edges on the bottom. The edges are big but it's not a deal breaker. You will see the front facing camera, the face IR face unlock and the microphone. It's USB type C, your speaker and your microphone. On the right is the power button and the volume up and down. On the top you see the headphone jack, so it's a thumbs up for me. On the back is the fingerprint scanner, the dual camera setup and the flash. The back is made of plastic so it doesn't attract fingerprints on smudges like other glass back. It doesn't change its color or it is no noticeable color shifting when you tilt the phone. So it's good. Now let's talk about the UI. Well, out of the box, this phone runs Android 8, but as soon as I opened it and connected to Wi-Fi, it got Android 9 update, so it's really fast on the update section, and it's running MIUI 10. Uh, you will get the app drawer by default, so you don't have to use any third-party launcher. You also get the default uh, MIUI home screen. Now we can see there's only you can also use themes. You can also like custom launcher as you will. So that's really good. And on the display section, it there's nothing much to control like the resolution or something. You can only use the contrast color. So there's not too much to do it in the display section. There's some features like H2X, so they are not the deal breaker. And the brightness on this phone is really a downfall even at this price point because when it's low you can you can hardly see the phone but even when it's max it's not that bright so in a uh, you know in a sunny day it will have some hardship reading this phone but it's quite negligible it's not that it's a big bad display but it's a thing to know before buying this phone that the brightness is not that good there is also a full full screen display mode where you can hide the buttons and you like the gestures like swipe up to like come to the home screen and swipe up and hold to do the recent app button so if you uh, don't like the buttons or you really want to get rid of the buttons you can use this or if you don't you won't you can also mirror the buttons as you will there is also full screen mode when you like choose the apps and force the app to use full screen and as the lock screen security goes there are everything there you can trim off face unlock fingerprint and the fingerprint is really fast there uh, there were no like misread and it was really fast even the scanning and the air face unlock is also fast as it is uh, use IR face unlock is also works in the dark so it's really good feature now let's talk about the camera as we all know that in the budget phone all phone uh, lags behind in the camera section but big thumbs up to Xiaomi that they didn't ditch a good camera even at this price point they give a decent camera it's not the best but it's a good camera I'll put some video and image sample at the end of this video so stay tuned for them so the focusing and the shutter speed is really fine there are no lags while well, I was clicking the photos even the focusing was fast between when you switch the focus between two objects and even as you can see on the video it focuses really fast and the AI feature on this phone is not that much great I didn't like it so now let's talk about the gaming performance of this phone as as you all know this phone is advertised as the master of speed as it comprises the newly uh, all the high specs Snapdragon 845, Adreno 630, it's liquid cool so on paper it really should game well 
and on our benchmarking and our day-to-day -day usage this phone really came to well uh, as it liquid cooled there were no overheating on this phone it got a little hot beside the camera but it wasn't any like intolerable heating issue or something anything like that so the you know the cooling system is really good on this phone it also packs you know the stereo speaker setup but the front facing speaker is the you know the earpiece so it is not that much loud like other full form stereo speakers it's a uh, you know a feature that Xiaomi <laughs> I know I don't know why they put it it's not that loud you don't you don't get that feel like stereo you even you won't even notice until you block the you know the main speaker that there is sound coming from the earpiece I don't know why they put it but they put it so it's a feature you can game all the you know mm, graphics and the games on this phone with ease as you can see we're playing PUBG with no problem now let's talk about the battery this phone packs 4000 4, mAh battery and it has quick charge 3.0 uh, the battery life on this phone was really good. The SOT was like 5 to 5, and thir 5 hours and 30 minutes and the charging time was like 110 to 115 minutes. So it's good. And here's the pros of this phone. A quick look of what it packs. And there is something that you will miss out on this phone also. Uh, there is no wireless charging, no NFC, no wire blaster and as we say earlier the brightness on this phone is really bad. As I promised earlier here are some image samples of this phone. Uh, on broad daylight or on the outside or in good amount of light this phone performs uh, relatively well than other budget phones. The color, color accuracy is good. The dynamic range, the depth of field is also good. Uh, and when you know, like you are indoors or in artificial light, this phone doesn't capture bad, but it's not as good as in daylight. But it's not that terrible either. It's not uh, that much of a degradation from the you know daylight photos, but it's noticeable. Here are some indoor shots in artificial lights. They're not that bad. It also performed quite well in even in artificial lights. And here are some uh, video sample from the rear facing camera. The dynamic range uh, is good. But there is no, you know, like optical stabilization on this phone. So if your hand is shaking, the video will come out shaky. So you will have to use a tripod if you want to use this phone for professional shooting or something. And the front facing video is also nice. So I hope you guys liked it. So if you like this, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and stay tuned for later updates and later videos. Peace.